Hi everybody, it's Ruth. I wanted to talk a little bit today about a topic that's been on my mind from two perspectives. It's about getting your home ready for sale, both from the home seller's perspective and the home buyer's perspective. Last week, I put together three long to-do lists for clients of mine, for sellers, home sellers preparing their home for the market. And my rule of thumb is everything on that list needs to be low cost, high impact, changes and now I'm not talking about the condition of the home and making uh, sure that everything works as it should. I'm talking about how the home is going to show on the photographs and how it's going to feel for buyers walking through it. Making those changes are extremely important and everything I recommend is usually something that is going to make a high, a high impact or a big difference in the experience of the buyer in the home. Sometimes getting your home ready for sale means just moving a couple of things around, uh, getting a good cleaning company in there, and maybe taking a few items out of your closets. Sometimes it means actually changing the furniture arrangement or bringing in a professional staging uh, person to help you with that. The key here is to make sure that the photos come out well and that the buyers have a positive experience coming through the home. But the flip side of this is for the buyers. Last week I was also with a client in, we went to see two houses uh, on, in the same neighborhood, roughly the same size houses. One of them was already emptied out, but it was staged beautifully. Brand new, modern furniture and a beautiful old Victorian. Every little corner was uh, thought through, either professionally or by the sellers, I'm not sure, or by the real estate agent. The experience of walking through the house was very pleasant, and the feeling we got in the home was that it was in great condition. It is ready to be moved into. The other house we saw had mismatched furniture uh, arranged poorly, and the feeling we had coming out of that home was mm, it may need a lot more work. But truly thinking about the home, I don't believe one needed a lot more work than the other one. Uh, so the perceived value that we have from the buying side is dramatically changed by how the home is presented by the seller. The point to keep in mind for home sellers is to Take the advice of your real estate agent, get your home ready for sale, put in the effort, put in the time, and if you need help doing so, ask for it. Because every uh, change you make may make a difference uh, for the buyers that you can't really fathom as the owner of the home. And when you're looking at a home as a buyer, make sure to overlook some of the mismatched furniture or outdated decor, anything like that, and look at the true condition of the home. If you have any questions, call or write me. I love hearing from you. Enjoy the rest of September, and I'll talk to you soon.